all have sinned against God. We all need to repent and let God's gracious free gift of forgiveness wash our sins away as we run to Jesus. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we look at the book of Acts and what it looks like when believers, after repenting from their sins and receiving Jesus as their Lord and Savior, become super motivated to obey and share the good news to others accompanied by signs and miracles. While these miracles were indeed, uh, they indeed grabbed attention, the more important thing was the message. Acts 14, 15, Paul had to explain, we are only human like you. We bring you good news. Our desire is for you to repent and turn aside from these foolish and vain sins and turn to the living God who made the heavens and earth and all that they contain. Acts 3, 1 through 9, Peter performed a miracle with a crippled man. Verse 12, men of Israel, why do you look at us though by our own power we made this man walk? Verse 13, it was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob through his son Jesus, whom, by the way, you denied and rejected. Verse 15, you killed Jesus, who God then raised from the dead. Verse 16, it is by faith in Jesus' name that made this crippled man strong and sound. Verse 17, I know you acted out of ignorance. So verse 19, repent, turn around, and return to God that you may be saved in times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. To those who received the, the good news message, which consisted of, you are a sinner, you need to repent and turn away from your sin, allow the blood of Jesus to wash away your sins, and call on Jesus out of belief in him, and you will be saved. This is the same message today for all. Those who were, those were some crazy times in Acts five fourteen through 16. More and more people were being added to the Lord who believed. People kept carrying out the sick into the streets and hoped Peter's shadow might fall on them. Verse 16, they came from all around bringing the sick and those troubled with foul spirits, and they were all cured. Those who didn't welcome the good news, like the Jewish leadership, verse 17, were filled with jealousy and rage. In fact, verse 18, they seized and jailed the disciples. Verse 19, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and let them out. Verse 32, God gave them the Holy Spirit to those who believe, or to those who obey him. Acts 4, or excuse me, 6 and 8, Stephen, full of grace and power, worked great miracles among the people. Then in verse 51 through 54, cut the Jewish leaders to their hearts as he revealed to them their sins. Then verse 55, full of and controlled by the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw God's glory and asked God not to fix this sin on them as they stoned him to death. Words of encouragement, when we respond in faith to the same message of the good news, it should change our lives like it did to those in the book of Acts. 2 verse 41 through 47 a sense of awe came upon every soul many signs and wonders were performed they were united generous givers regularly gathering together they couldn't get enough of praising god and the lord kept adding daily those who were being saved in other words they were neck deep in revival we have the same god the same holy spirit the same message why not us as we pray, revival fire fall on us. Have a great day.